What's up my Comic Con? My name's Cullen and I collect comics and today we're going to go over my DC pulls that I got. I didn't actually get to get all my books to the shop this week. There was a couple mix-ups that they're supposed to get for me and stuff. So I only really only have five DC books. I don't even have my Marvels because I wasn't able to make it in there on Wednesday and they were closed today. So I'm gonna come back in tomorrow. So hopefully I can maybe make a couple more videos before uh, soon, but uh, let's just get into these five books real quick just to, you know, give you at least something this week, right? Uh, we've got Batman Beyond Nero, Euro, near Neo Year 6, and uh, this has got the Max Dunbar cover. Max does the interior arts for this book. Jackson Lanning, Colin, Kellen are writing, Colin Kelly are writing it. Uh, the end of tomorrow, the Neo year, is drawing towards an epic conclusion. Terry McGinnis has spent the last year waging war on the artificial intelligence that has conquered Neo Gotham. In this issue, he'll have to put together everything he has learned, refine his own myth as Batman, and bring down Donovan Loomis, Gotham's, Neo Gotham's AI and Sword of Gotham. Terry McGinnis flies the night in the new Batman Beyond suit. Everything... The about the Batman Beyond mythos changes here. All right, so we got this final issue of this Batman Beyond Neo Year, I believe. No, actually, this is just keeps on going. It looks like it doesn't look like it's a. So, all right, we're just gonna keep going with Neo Year. So next we got Batman Nightwatch. This is issue one, and uh, let's see on this. Uh, our color cover is by Marcelo De Caera and uh, Kari Stanchin. And, uh, let's see, it looks like, uh, Torres is writing this, and Owens is the art. I'm not sure exactly the names on that for this, but, uh, it definitely looks interesting once I've, I've read the, uh, I haven't read it yet, but I'm definitely interested in what the story, it, from what it, uh, has told me. Uh, after a massive breakout of Arkham, uh, Batman and his team are on a mission to bring escapees back. First on the list is Clayface. Using social media, Batgirl has an informal network to track the villain through the city, throughout the city. It inspires Penny One to create a more organized network of informants and spies known as the Night Watch. All right. Then our next book from after Night Watch should be The Dark Knights of Steele's new book, Tales from the Three Kingdoms. And the cover art for this is Neil Goog. The art for it is Nathan Gooden. And Tom Taylor, P.S. Piscott, and J. Kristoff are writing this. Uh, the Elk Kingdom has been ruled with integrity and honesty for generations by the families from the Waynes to the Ls. The future of the kingdom uh, lies within its three heirs and the challenges that they will face. But what really prepared them for their uh, turmoil, turmoil, tilius, or, gosh, I hate saying that word. It's a... Uh, Termotulous future. uh -huh. What shores define Bruce, Zayla, and Kal-El? Learn these tales and more from international best-selling writers Tom Taylor, Jay Kristoff, and C.S. Piscotti. All right. Then next, we're moving on, looks like, to the Flashpoint Beyond. Double-check to make sure that's what that is. Yes. Loving this Thomas Wayne cover and that poker chip. Really cool. Looks almost like a... Got a two faced looking thing going. Sure, I'm sure that might have something to do with it. Uh, this is the uh, regular uh, Mitch Gerard's cover, and Zermanico did the art for the interiors. This Jeff Johns, Tim Sheridan, and Jeremy Adams did the art, and this is issue number six of or number five of Flashpoint Beyond. And the Clockwork Killer's identity is finally revealed as the dust settles. After the showdown at Arkham Asylum, but 
as we learn the truth behind the Clockwork Killer came to be, or how the Clockwork Killer came to be. Uh, Thomas is faced with a reality-altering choice. All right. Next thing we've got, finally, is Multiversity Teen Justice, issue number four. And uh, we got a Robbie Rodriguez cover on this. And even Cohen and Danny Lohr are doing the uh, writing. And the interior art is Marco Falela. Falela, yeah. Uh, this action pack issue finds Kid Quick and their allies on Earth-11 face-to-face with a world-shattering threat. At last, why Raven refuses to join the team... Will the revelation prevent a tragedy or somewhat make it worse? Plus, an uninspected ally helps Troy escape from the Church of Blood and a reunion with the team's been hoping for finally takes place and the villainy of the core comes to a light. On a scale of 1 to 10 for surprises, this is an all and all-around awesomeness. This is a solid Earth 11. All right. So, uh, that's all I've got for this week. Uh, as far as books, hopefully I can bring something, have something tomorrow to show. I'm going to try to make the video this weekend, I think, uh, for, uh, maybe I believe it'll be Sunday. I'll try to have it made. Maybe we can make it the next couple of days. Uh, I'd like to go through, uh, on Sunday, it'll be a uh, Harley Quinn's 30th anniversary. So I would like to make a video for y'all showing, going through kind of Harley Quinn volume one and, uh, some early appearances and stuff, uh, kind of show in my collection on that since I've been working on it for a long time. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'm getting ready to roll the books. So, uh, yeah, hit like and subscribe, and uh, come back and see us. Later.